Yeah, yeah, sun goes down. Run, don't frown, and the slum those rounds. Fun to slum those clowns. Funny how a nigga learn to love your crown. Don't have no king, no blood, no foul. It's bullshit. So leave it to the birds and pull shit. I told you niggas every single word is What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the AGHB channel. Today, I'm gonna answer every single question you guys have ever asked me. No, that's not true. That's completely a lie. But I will be answering the most requested question of all freaking time. The number one question that I get asked the most is, AGHB, I'm X height. Can I or will I fit on X bike? And how do you fit on your bikes? Well, I'm gonna answer that once and for all. Before we jump into things, this video is sponsored by CG Key Tags. They've got a huge selection of pre-made cool designs. So if you guys want one, make sure you head over there. There's gonna be one for every one style. That's how many designs there are for real. Enter the code AGHB at checkout for 15% off. So we found a location, we got the bike set up. We just need to put together our shitty little... You should call it shitty. No. <laughs> Do you know how hard I worked on, on this thing? It's our amazing camera slider. We got the tripod, we got the GoPro. We got more GoPro stuff. This is what it takes. Yeah. Yeah. Sun goes down. Run, don't frown in the slum. Those rounds, fun to slum those clowns. Funny how a nigga learn to love your crown. Don't have no king, no blood, no foul. It's bullshit. So leave it to the birds and pull shit. I told you niggas, every single word is full with that full clip. Got the 911, make it 911 until proud in heaven can hit a fall of the good kid, Mad City. Okay, so a lot of you guys have been asking me, how do you fit on your bike? I am 5'2, 5'3, 5'4, 5'5, so and so. Will I fit? on a sport bike or a WR250R. What can I fit on? How tall are you? How heavy are you? I'll tell you guys right now. I'm five foot three and a half. But if you want to get technical with these boots, I'm technically like five four. I'm a uh, hundred pounds, brown hair, brown eyes, single that I'm just kidding, I'm not single. <laughs> so I wanted to shoot this video to help you guys figure out if you're gonna fit on it, even though my suggestion, like I've said to a lot of you, is go to the dealership, sit on different bikes, see how you feel because every single person is a different size, different height, different everything. So don't take what I'm saying in this video to be 100% fact, okay? Because my bike is not the same as every other bike. So keep that in mind. As far as what I have done to this bike to make it fit me is soften the suspension, but that's not even technically a modification. That's just what you should do when you get a new bike. This bike stock fits somebody that's 150 to 160 pounds normally. I'm 100 pounds, so me sitting on it, it would be rock hard. So I took it in and had them soften the suspension so that it fits closer to my weight. So when I sit on it, it actually sags down a little bit more, giving me about one to two more inches of ground. Here's what it looks like when I sit on the bike. I'm still tiptoeing on both sides but I have the ability to touch both feet down on the ground. As a shorter rider, you're most likely going to have to scoot your butt a little bit to the right or a little bit to the left just to be able to put your foot down all the way flat. So this is what I have to do if I want a flat foot on one side. I cannot flat foot both sides, but I'm comfortable enough with a bike to where even though I'm still tiptoeing, I feel confident that I can still keep my bike up. Let's move on to the dual sport, the WR250R. I told you niggas every single word is full with that full clip. Got the 911, make it 911 until proud in heaven can hit a fall of the good kid, Mad City. Yeah, Mad City. Everyone who fuck with you know that your past pretty. But if you kill this man, hope you know that your past killing in the shadow of a man you would know as a black kid be saying, I'm for the major. Two for respect, two for respect. One in the chain. Typically, Every single dual sport or off-road bike is going to be significantly taller than a sport bike. This bike, I'm really short for, so the stock wheels are going to be bigger wheels. I changed these to be a supermoto type bike, so the, the front and the rear 
rims and wheels are size 17 each. These specific tires that I got made it an inch taller, but if you get street tires like I used to have in my previous videos, you should be a-okay. So one of the major things I did do for this bike is you'll notice right here, a step seat. What does a step seat do? It gives you about an inch more to touch the ground. So you'll notice how it comes in right here and then it'll curve down a lot lower than a typical seat. So most people don't like this because it's a thinner seat, it's more uncomfortable. But at the same time, some people love it because this is a little hump that stops you from rolling off your bike when you're doing wheelies. So it's all just general preference. I use it for my height. If you get normal street wheels, you should be fine. Ever since I put on these tires, I struggle just a little bit more. What I have to do when I get on this bike is I first leave the kickstand down because let's be real, I'm not that tall. I'll get on the bike first and then I'll scoot all the way to the left and use the momentum to really push the bike over and then catch myself. So I have my left foot down and I'll push as hard as I can and then catch myself with my right foot, put up the kickstand and then just balance on the right. So you'll see how much more I'm tiptoeing on this bike than I do on the sport bike. If I try to put both feet down, I can't touch both feet. It's a little bit too, I'm probably missing like a centimeter. I actually can't touch both of them down. So I'm basically just teeter-tottering. At that point, you need to just learn how to adjust your weight when you need to stop. So if I'm riding around and I need to come to a complete stop, I'll typically start leaning to the left or to the right, whichever way I'm turning. So that way I can just put my feet down and you just gotta be able to catch yourself. So before I go ahead and end this video, let me know, was this video helpful to you guys at all? If you're not a short rider and it didn't help you, but you know somebody who is, feel free to share the video because I'm only trying to help those of you who are short and those of you who are getting into motorcycle riding as a short rider, of course. It's still rolling. It's yeah. just all I see is helmet. You're pretty damn close. <laughs> <laughs> all right, take two. Yeah, like there. If you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like, and if you're new here, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Two respect, two for respect, one in the chamber, two in the hood, yeah, one for the majors. You can respect, you can respect, one in the chamber, two in the head, two in the head. Riding through the city with a little mini cannon on my lap. Picture it, whip through the strip with my syndicate, looking for whoever started to finish it. Eminent.